Okay, reflection. Oh, there. Oh, follow that with reflections. Um, look, all I just want to say is, um, you saw my little trip around the country, and uh, lucky me who gets to do that. And when I see, a, I, I go to a lot of different kind of cultural experiences. But wow, what we do to communities and to people. Uh, actually, that, that first film that Ajay showed of the, of the Mela people, those communities that we reach out to, that the locality that we we do something quite unique, and it's really, really wonderful. And God, we live in difficult times, and this is the time we have to do it. And our value as artists who reach out is so, so important. I am amazed at what we do, and seeing even crazy lips singing, it just br brings us such joy. And there we are, whatever our audience is, whatever their cultural background, their economic background, their diversity, we can reach out to them, and we just have to do it. And there ain't no money in this industry. We do it for love, and that's so, so important. I tried to do some event about how to sustain an economic career in the outdoor sector, and actually all the artists in the room said, don't try. We do it because we love it. It brings joy. So we do bring joy. Right, I'm not going to bring joy now, am I? If, I? if I do my top ten, lists are a nightmare, aren't they? So, my top ten outdoor arts moments. What I'm just going to say about that is, I'm not saying these are the best shows. These are just ten moments. When I first did this a couple of years ago, I did it really carefully. I was like, make sure we've got one of those, and make sure we include a bit of that, and have a bit of community, a bit of diversity. And I looked at it, and I wrote this list, and it, was, it wasn't shows that really made my heart sing. So this is just moments I had out there on the road this year that brought me joy. Uh, so here we go. Let's do this. Don't hate me. Uh, OK, number one. Oh, ho, ho, Zara, mind the gap, water plank, yay. Well, I saw in the Imperial War Museums. Um, so the reason that, one of the reasons that's in there is that started here. That was when mind the gap stood up and said, we want to build a giant baby, and Liz Pugh from water plank said, that baby must be built. Hey, three years later, it happened. And it was so wonderful uh, to, see, to see this incredible, incredible structure uh, come to life, the community work and emergency exit arts involved in London. Uh, it was scale, it was bold, it was big, it was beautiful, it was marvellous. So thank you to them. Number two, what do we say here? Session, still house. Oh my God. I fell in love in Hull with these young women. Um, I sat in the front row for this, this show and watched these brilliant uh, young women dancing. And what is amazing is they, they go for a bit of audience participation at the end of it. And... Uh, they were, it was so good. I was just sitting there, and about six of the company just went straight to me and went, you're coming up to dance, mate. <laughs> and it was this moment, you know, could we be farther apart, age, ethnicity, all the rest of it, and we just so connected as they did with all the audience. God, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I, I love that. I had a great time in Hull with that. So, so, yeah, thank you to them. God, that was beautiful. Um, yeah, a little bit in love with those girls. So, here we are, number three. Oh my God, an animal show. So, Pasture with Cows, Captain Boom Collecting Belgium at Greenwich and Docton's International Festival. So, this is a show that looks like that. So, it's a giant picture frame, and in it are two cows and a whole narrative about some, uh, some farmers uh, <laughs> living with them. It's very durational. You sit there, you watch hours of it. It's, it, was, it was lovely, lovely weather. As you can see there, so it is a giant picture frame. Down the bottom there, that's in, in Greenwich. Um, and it's got a little thing, it's partially with cows by an unknown master, 21st century. Uh, and I had a lovely time just sitting there watching the cows graze. And they were full of stuff that you knew how the cows were looked after and where they lived at night. It was all very, very lovely. So I'm uh, very glad to see that. Uh, it was very unexpected, a nice calm thing. OK, well, everyone knows I have a bit of a love affair with Kamchatka. Uh, and so this was brilliant to see them in all bizarre places in, in, uh, in Penrith at the Winter Droving. Uh, so there they are arriving. If you don't know this act, especially for some of the students and young people here, always try and see the show when you get a chance. They are masters uh, of how to interact with audiences uh, on the street. It's sometimes, and it's always different, sometimes it's hilarious, sometimes it's very sad. There they are, stealing someone's chips. And when one of them gets them, they all get them. Um, they do it beautifully. They're Catalan, but they're quite an international. That's my husband. Sorry, my love, not right now. <laughs> Timing, eh? Um, maybe he wants to hear. I don't know. Uh, there's some lovely dancing there um, with, the, with the crowd. Uh, and because it was winter droving, they, they, they borrowed people's masks. 
Uh, and, uh, and then this is a moment, if you've, if you've seen the show, it doesn't always happen, it's only if they feel right, where they reach in their suitcases and they bring out a photograph of somebody, well, we're not quite sure why, whether someone they've lost, someone they're looking for, and sometimes audiences try and help them, and sometimes they don't, and sometimes they just say, I'm sorry, I can't help you. And it's a wonderful, wonderful piece of connection. Um, I'm very proud to say I was the first person to book them in the UK about 10 years ago, and they're still going. Uh, wonderful, wonderful company. So always, always take a look at them. Uh, and lovely to see them in Penrith. What's next? Okay, so, okay. so this, um, this piece, I saw it at a distance in Tarragon, and then I went back and saw it uh, in, in Great Yarmouth. Uh, and so you're confronted by a, a square or a space full of these string attached to these stones, and then you're invited to uh, pick the stone up and wrap the string, and it's, they're all, you have to work together, and uh, there's the sounds of a riot, and it's actually quite scary to do. Uh, so I did it. I, I don't love my participation, but I absolutely joined in with this, this one. There you can see, I actually did it in action, just to prove it. Uh, that's what it looks like before it gets unraveled. And then at the end, rather ceremoniously, you, you, the string gets burnt, and then you're just left with the rocks. Uh, so it, was the, it was the last thing of, the, of, the, of uh, out there in Great Yarmouth. It was such a lovely ending uh, and a real sense of, of uh, community there. Really beautiful piece. Thoroughly recommend. Um, here we are. Okay, well, again, Gandini's God there. Amazing. Um, so this was their latest piece. And what I love about this is actually right now, they're appearing in central New York at the Metropolitan Opera House, performing in a Philip Glass piece. And yet there's still these guys who appear on the streets um, do, doing this crazy work. Uh, they... <laughs> Always starts off, uh, always starts off quite calm and polite, and then slowly descends into anger, chaos, and usually a little bit of nudity. The clothes come off, the vegetables go on, so they're juggling <laughs> leeks and cabbages, and ends up in absolute <laughs> chaos. It's sort of very religious. It's it was crazy and wonderful and insane, and the world would be a poorer place without it. Uh, yes, yeah, so I had a great time with that. Ooh, we're getting through them. What is this? All at sea. Okay, a parade. Right, so Spree Festival Parade. Dear God, I love this parade. So it's got all the elements you'd see in a parade. It's, this was a, a sea theme, so lots of lovely octopuses and, and mermen. And, uh, but what happens with that one is the sense, oh, well, it's just got such a wonderful sense of ownership by the community. And they are so inside. There's no waving at their friends or their family. They are in character. The seahorses, incredibly. Um, the seahorses, children and adults, were like school children, and the adults were their teachers. And these seahorses were having a riot, and the adult seahorses were keeping them in order. Then the mermaids came along, and they were these two groups of sassy women having a street fight as mermaids. They completely stay in the characters. It's absolutely wonderful to see. And it's, it's very beautiful, um, and there's some lovely frogs. Um, and this is a really interesting thing. It's a bit of architecture that's happened in Waterford. Is this, um, largely because of this, the, the street festival, it's got a mirror over one of the squares, so you can watch the, the parade upside down. A real, directed by Mike Lee, a real, real um, great example of a, a parade in action. Number eight. OK, this is a weird choice. Joe, uh, yeah, Joe, out there festival. So the reason this is kind of in there is it's a really fun street show about skiing. It's audience participation, uh, and it's super fun. Now, uh, Great Young has a little bit of a, a, a Brexit uh, thing going on there. So this crazy Czech show ends with the Czech national anthem and the audience standing up and applauding the Czech flag being waved around. And I still, I was, it was on those, I was behind it. And I just watched this audience saying, you don't even know, and that's so brilliant. What we can do, how we can move people's minds and hearts. And it was just such a, such an absolutely lovely thing in that context. And they, they were great performers, super fun, super fun. Um, and it, I, it just, yeah, I had a great time watching that. Uh, here we go, On Edge, Justice in Motion. So this, I had a really nice journey with. First, it's one of the uh, Walls Commissions this year. Uh, first I saw it at Brighton Festival, then I saw it Dance Sitting, then I saw it out there. And what I really, really loved about it was, um, th this is it in Brighton, <laughs> that crazy uh, dark day in Brighton. And it grew and grew. That's it at Dancing City, and then that's it in Great Yarmouth. And it developed and grew, and became richer, and the narrative became stronger, and the parkour, it, was, it just was wonderful to watch that journey. Uh, those 
of, of a show. And so that, that's great. Look at that. It turns into the, again, kind of religious image. That's fantastic. Now, I'm just getting, this is just me like, like, trying to make sure everyone still loves me. Um, <laughs> A few other on there. Yay, Helen. I love, I love Boudicca. I absolutely love her. She's great. These dancing Maharajas, Cohesion Bus and Festive Road. What fun I had with them. Uh, lifted member. Hey, I can't do that. That's brilliant. They're great. A really interesting, different tone. There's some um, member uh, have, have, have a, a lovely uh, warmth to them. And there's some quite violent anger in there, which is a really interesting new tone for those fantastic artists. Okay, baby racing, live baby racing by Cirque du Jeu. <laughs> Ever seen such a thing? Oh, wow, it's fantastic. So we're, <laughs> now I didn't see this, but apparently, because the parents encourage, there's, there's like, you know, there's prizes to be won. And <laughs> so a mother gets at the end of her lane and goes, come on, darling, come to mummy, come on, got a booze out. I love that. Hilarious. And people bet on them. It's great. So, yeah, we'll enjoy that. I've really enjoyed Belly of the Whale. It's, it's a show from last year, and it, it, again, it grows, and uh, it, it, it has such a, a surprising delicacy in, in the outdoor sector. Um, and Icarus, another show that's been around for a while. I really caught up with this this year. I saw it in Tarragon. There it is, um, actually outside my B&B in Great Yarmouth. Um, yeah, so it's... That's one that's lovely. Bridge, of course. Now, I only saw about 10 minutes of it, so that's why it's in honorable mentions. But why God, the ambition, the commentary. Oh, hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. The vagina slide. <laughs> Found this in Tarragon, late at night. It's a giant vagina, and children go down it, and they burst out the vagina at the end. <laughs> and I can't, who was I? I can't remember who I was standing there, and she went, oh, God, if it only was that easy. <laughs> It's hilarious, and the kids haven't got a clue why they're so funny. <laughs> I just love that. Uh, and this, this is the little show that we saw on, the isle, on the, one of the Aran Islands when we were there for Fresh Street in Galway. Um, and it was a beautiful juggling in that environment, and it was raining, and it was drizzly, and gosh, it was just a lovely, lovely experience. I think we're almost there. Okay, I really love what Nikki's done with this, this show globe. She, and now they're going around the world with it. They've made a new version of it that can fit into eight suitcases or something, or packing cases. Hysterical photos on Facebook of them pushing all of these things on trolleys in Hong Kong airport or wherever they're performing it. Um, really, really nice piece and beautiful a beautiful make. And so that's the, sh that's the winter version. Now there's a garden and there's an undersea <coughs> version. She's just done really lovely, lovely piece of work. Hey, look, there's Wally Range, Best of All Possible Worlds. Back with you guys. That's the same picture. That's my picture. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, oh, we're almost there. Okay, this was a wonderful, in a drizzly experience we had in, in Glasgow uh, with Ocean All Over. Uh, transfigured, really, what a beautiful uh, design make that is. Alex Reed's work, really lovely. And in the rain, and what you can't see is all of their makeup dripped down their bodies. It was kind of rather fantastic. That's kind of there. Well, Emotion House, we love you, and my God, <laughs> Louise, she is a Brexit expert. That was amazing. It's also like best picture ever. So, yeah, that gets in there for just that at all. Okay. Right, number 10. Number 10. So this is, uh, this is something to me that's really, really important about what's happened. One of the things we always try and do is get a little bit more visibility. Oh, let's get on the front of the media, let's get newspaper headlines, all the rest of it. Not very successful at doing that, not very good at getting reviews in papers. So my top vote really goes to all sorts of people for this, for Extinction Rebellion. <laughs> because where theatres have been slow to respond or whatever, we were ready. The work was there. We were absolutely ready for this. These are people, you know, there are so many more. So I just, just a few things. I mean, look at the, I mean, the imagery is so stunning. For me, really personal, because that's the National Theatre in the background where I used to work, and we know that the NT let them use their toilets and apparently took them backstage to use showers and things. They were really quietly supportive. The stuff was ready. The kit was there. It was absolutely there. So there's Helen from Coco Loco. I mean, when she sent me this picture, I said, yeah, that's lovely, but who was watching? She said, I'll send you the picture of who was watching. There you go. <laughs> Okay, okay, thanks, Helen. I get your point. Get your point. The, this sort of gay octopus that was marched up the, to Trafalgar Square. All set. All fantastic. Uh, a young group doing doing their first pieces of work outdoor in response to the St. John Run. There's Bev in the middle of that. That Thingamajig Theatre. They're ready with their birds. Absolutely. This I don't even know who it's by. I just love, what a great image. That just says everything about where we're at. There's emergency exit arts. The police using, using a peace poem to, to sit on and have a little rest. <laughs> Fine. There's Flick Ferdinando, one of the backbones of our sector, in a, in a, in a wonderful, one of the grave parades. Uh, just, just beautiful. And of course, these guys. So, Joy Magnet, the, 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 the kangaroos. We've seen, you know, seen them at a thousand festivals and all the rest of it, and they rename themselves Extinction Rebellion. 
And what I love, there was a video that was popped on, on social media uh, of them bouncing around and policemen laughing. Protesters laughing while they were being arrested because giant kangaroos were going past. So, hurrah, outdoor arts sector, for being able to do that. And make such beautiful, beautiful imagery. But it's more eloquent than I will ever be about how I feel about the environment. Wow, we, 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 our time was there. So that's, that's who I kind of love, yeah. Okay, let me do a couple of thank yous because we're coming to the end. We've got the marketplace, I'm gonna have a little drink. Um, thank you all for coming. Thank you for playing all the games with the lanyards and bringing, bringing water bottles and all the rest of it. And uh, that, that's been great. Uh, I'd like to thank this venue, Fargo Village and The Box, and Lucy in particular, and uh, Gabriel Media for doing our live streaming. Thank you. It's been a really nice venue to work in. They've been terrific. Uh, I'd like to thank also all of our caterers uh, for, for looking after us so well. Drapers last night. That was a lot of fun. Miss Ellie, Arabian Bites, and Squire for doing the coffees. That's been terrific working with local organisations. I would like to thank my board. Deb, of course, Graham, Alan, Ajay, Daryl, Michelle, and local girl, Lou. Fantastic. Great. Uh, and it's been wonderful to have their support, and they've been leading the, the breakout sessions, all the rest of it. So we will, and now the board, just a quick word about the board. The board is elected by the membership. And so we will be having more elections in February. I'd love to see a little bit more artist representation. And because they're elected, we, you know, we need you to uh, be careful in your votes about uh, helping us keep the diversity of the uh, board together. So that will be coming up. We'll have an AGM uh, probably in February sometime. Oh, another event. Good Lord. Uh, so please keep your eyes out for that. I would like to thank our wise, witty, professional, brilliant uh, speakers from the sector. Look at that. What brilliant speakers you've all been. Thank you so much. And I'd like to thank uh, Matt on tech back there and our signers. You've been brilliant today. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, both of you. Thank you so much. My fail, uh, what's my sign? What did you give me? Mr. <laughs> I like that. I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. Uh, my favourite was you signing uh, 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 the, the Dizio Dare Birds. Brilliant bird work. Excellent, excellent. Set to go. Uh, okay, <laughs> Team Outdoor Arts. Emanuela Olivia Catherine. Big hurrah, please. <laughs> Guys, so. What's brilliant is actually, I said, I said last night when the room was really lovely and buzzy in Draper's, and I said, well, you know, all those hours we sit in the office scheduling on Hootsuite and all the rest of it. This is the result. This is lovely. So they do terrific work. Thank you so much to them for all of the extra effort they've put in for this. It's been really, really brilliant. And uh, I'd like to thank the local companies who, who helped us with the decor in here. Uh, it's Talking Birds, Imagineer, Fabularium, Highly Sprung. It's been great to have a little bit of outdoor arts in here. That's my husband again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope the cats are all right. I'm sure they are. <laughs> okay, so thank you all, all those people. Thank you so much. Uh, marketplace now. Uh, so if uh, artists want to make their way out, but maybe we need a little bit of a processional there. Perhaps I could call on the lips to lead us to the marketplace.